Hey, seventh graders. I've noticed in lessons that there's a lot of questions on the dotted quarter note, eighth note rhythm. Usually, when I ask you to count it, there's a confused look and then a guess at how to play the rhythm. But I want to make sure that you really know confidently how to count it. So let's dive into it today. So dotted quarter note, eighth note rhythm. Let's look at first how we get that rhythm. So in a normal quarter note, we have two eighth notes, okay? And we would count that one and, right? That fits all in that same beat there, okay? <clears throat> Anytime we add a dot to a note, it increases the note by half its value. So half of a quarter note would be one eighth note, right? If there's two eighth notes in a quarter note, half of that would be one. Two plus one is, that's right, three. Good math. So there are three eighth notes inside of a dotted quarter note. So if we were to count three eighth notes, we would use number and number, right? One and two, and then say we tag that last eighth note on the end here, that would be the and, right? So now that we know what happens inside of there, we have three eighth notes inside of this. So you can pick one, two, three, one and two and, right? Here's the cheater way to do it. If you want to tap your foot twice, you can tap your foot once for the note, once for the dot, and then when your foot comes up, that's when the eighth note happens on the and. One and. Or if you're subdividing in your head, one and two and. Okay? So let's put this in the context of a full measure. Say we have four four measure. Okay, so we have four beats in each measure, and we have this rhythm right here. This will be counted one and three four. Okay? Say we're at a faster tempo. Let's go this fast. One and three four. Or slower. One and three four. Okay? The key to this is subdividing in your head one and two and. Okay? Now let's mix it up just a little bit. What if we put the dotted quarter note on B2. We don't need five beats in the measure. Here we go. So we would count beat one here, and then we would start the dotted quarter note on beat two. And then we'd have two and three and and then four right here, right? Since we have three eighth notes inside of the dotted quarter note, you'll count two and three, and then and will come after that. So you use the same thing where you'll tap once for the note, once for the dot, and then when your foot comes up, that's when the eighth note happens. So let's count this rhythm together. One, two, and four, okay? The most important thing is when you're coming across these in your music is that you tap your foot and count through it. Okay, feel the pulse, whether you tap your toe inside your shoe, tap your foot, whether you're tapping your finger, whatever it is, make sure you're feeling the pulse and know exactly where that's at, and that will help you count those tricky dotted quarter note, eighth note rhythms.